Hey, we're at us. So congratulations, man. Yeah, I know exactly how you feel, uh, banging your head against the wall, trying to understand something for endless hours, and then finally the light breaks through. So congratulations on uh, mastering uh, Leibniz's argument. Um, also, by the way, this is particularly impressive, co considering that uh, you just got married, and uh, trying to find time to do this kind of stuff gets exponentially harder as, uh, <laughs> as time goes on. You accumulate wives and children and all this kind of stuff, so... At any rate, I got a few questions here for you. So, at any rate, um, premise number two uh, drew my attention. So, basically, it says if the universe has an explanation of its existence, that explanation is God. Okay. Now, the cool thing is, is that you know, theists would typically say this sentence is true. Atheists would typically say this sentence is false. But of course, Leibniz, being the brilliant genius that he is, um, found it's just the contrapositive of, of this statement, right? God is not the explanation of the universe. Therefore, the universe has no explanation. Okay, and then the claim was made that, you know, this is the standard atheist shtick, right? Um, okay, but of course, these two sentences, uh, they have the same truth value, right? So... Um, if you believe the one, you should believe the other one, right? So both of these sentences, basically, you know, they, they have the same truth value, and they really should mean the same thing. So my question is, which one of these two do you believe? Thanks a lot.